The Waipu Presbyterian Church was led to Waipu by their leader, Reverend Norman MacLeod, in 1853. And he brought the church over from Nova Scotia and they went to Australia and then from there they came across to New Zealand and they came up from Auckland and settled here at Waipu. Reverend MacLeod was very much their leader and his word was law in the church and the state. No one dared contradict him. The Waipu people looked on him as almost divine. The Waipu Highlanders that travelled to New Zealand were extremely religious and were a strong Christian community. But a church is a group of people, a body of people. The building is to be a place to come to worship. The building um, it was built to replace um, the first church they built, which is on the same site. And it was, this one was built in 1871. When the Highlanders arrived, services were held in the homes of the congregation, most commonly Hector Mackenzie's. But when his house burnt down, it was decided to build a church. There are no written records on the first Waipu church. When Norman MacLeod died in 1866, the congregation believed no one was worthy of preaching in his pulpit. The pulpit was removed and the church pulled down and rebuilt in 1871. The Waipu Presbyterian Church contributes to the community both socially and spiritually. First of all, a spiritual presence. Like a lot of people, most people in New Zealand are Christians and don't go to church. But um, if the church, if we make any change in the church, we always hear, oh, it's, you know, about it. So we've got the spiritual presence. Um, we provide, um, you know, a venue and a way of doing weddings and funerals and um, you know Christmas time, Easter time, and people still appreciate that. Um, we actually have two services here. One is what we call traditional, where um, we use the old hymns and old hymn books of the old English language, which a lot of the older people like. And um, it is actually the service that um, has grown the most in the last couple of years. People like the tradition. And our other service, which is a bigger service, is what we call contemporary, so, and it's more modern contemporary music, and um, that appeals to a wide range. So the two services are very different, but you can't tell, it's not an age thing, it's just a taste thing. We also contribute um, socially in the community, we have all sorts of things going on, from um, counselling services to budgeting, food banks, um, children's programs, we lobby for people, we help new immigrants, we help people who are on social, in trouble with social welfare, we work with SIFs, all sorts. Socially, there are many home groups which discuss problems and act as a support group. They range from family welfare counselling to children's programmes, such as mainly music. What happens in this way is the little E's get to do the music, which is dancing to the music, and the parents, the mothers later will have a cuppa and have a discussion and that. So it's a it's a nice way, and this way is a window into the community. It's an opportunity for people who don't go to church to come along, enjoy, don't feel threatened by getting um, Bible bashed as what a lot of people will think it is, but they can come in and enjoy. They ha the, the children are happy and they can discuss. Some of our people go and do Bible in school, so that's another way that they can get out into the community and uh, they do Waipu Primary School, go in there and take the classes and it's a half hour lesson and there's also Ruakaka Primary School and I know One Tree Point Primary School too and it, it's a sharing from all the churches um, the personal things, there is confidentiality in any of the things that go on in a church mm. so it's a safe environment for people to come to. There is also Sunday School, Youth Group, the Association of Presbyterian Women and many more. The Waipu Presbyterian Church contributes socially to the community and has a strong support network. 
It also provides a spiritual presence to the community. The Waipu Presbyterian Church has now stood in the Waipu Centre for 136 years. The church has played a major role in this community since it was originally built until today. Even though Christianity is becoming less important socially, the church is still going strong. Even though Waipu will never lose its heritage, hopefully the Waipu Presbyterian Church will be still be standing for another 136 years. I pray you'll be